What's going on in the Atlanta real estate market? What's going on with home values? Where are the best schools? Cleve has all the answers for you. Call Cleve Atlanta Real Estate Show on Talk Radio 640 WGST. Now, here's Cleve Gaddis. You're listening to the Call Cleve Atlanta Real Estate Show on Talk Radio 640 WGST. If you need to reach us, Gaddis Partners Remax Center, you can call 770-497-0000 or you can go to gogaddis.com. That's G-O-G-A-D-D-I-S.com. One more time, G-O-G-A-D-D-I-S.com. Each week, we spotlight one specific metro Atlanta neighborhood to call out critical changes in market pricing and discuss other important information uh, to help listeners identify unique opportunities in that specific area. This week, we are highlighting River Chase uh, in our Low Down on the Hood segment. Again, River Chase is uh, near the intersection of Riverside Drive and 285, basically 285 north on Riverside, uh, hang a left on Herds Ferry, and basically it is down by the river just north of 285, which that is a beautiful area of the river in Atlanta because the river is fairly wide uh, right there, and the Chattahoochee River is not normally very wide, so it's a little more scenic uh, in that area than it is in most. The purpose of the Low Down on the Hood segment is to give you an idea of where the market was uh, when the prices were at their all-time high before the recession, how low did prices get during the middle of the recession, and how have prices improved uh, over the last several years. We're also going to give you a good idea of exactly how much equity uh, homeowners in that area have gained in the last few years. So in 2008, the average sales price in River Chase, again, Sandy Springs, uh, Fulton County, was eight, uh, excuse me, $852,000. By 2011, the average sales price had dropped, believe it or not, down to $693,000. So prices were down 19%. Doesn't they, the, the total number down 159000 on average sounds like a big number, mm-hmm. uh, but 19% was a much lower drop in value than was experienced by most of the areas in Atlanta. And it's really because of how close these properties are to the main employment corridors of 75, 285, the Perimeter Mall area, and certainly uh, 85, uh, uh, you know, north. You've got tons of employment there and also the downtown area. Mm-hmm. By 2014, prices had improved to 952500 on average. So prices went down 19% and then went back up 27%. So they dropped 159000 on average and increased uh, 260000 So if we take all of that and we represent it on a scale of 100 uh, in 2007, the average sales price was a 100. By 2011, the average sales price was an 81. And by 2014, J.D., listen to this, the average sales price was 100. And 12. So sales Whoa. prices in that neighborhood are up 12% over their prior all time high. Nice. There are currently three homes listed in the neighborhood for sale. They range from a low price of 670000 up to a high asking price of $1.7 million. Average list price is $1,054,000. million. There is a $1.8 month's worth of supply in the neighborhood. If you listen to the show, you know that we like to talk about whether or not we're in a buyer's, seller's, or a balanced market. If you have less than four months' worth of inventory in a neighborhood, we say that that is a seller's market because there are basically more buyers out there looking for homes in that area in the last 12 months than there are sellers who currently Mm -hmm. want to sell a home. And in this particular case, it would only take 1.8 months for buyers to buy all of the inventory available for sale in the neighborhood, provided it's priced at a reasonable market price. There are 165 homes in the neighborhood, and a lot of times we're trying to do our best to guess the exact number of homes we get close, and we pad it just a little bit. In this case, I think that is exactly the number of homes that's in that neighborhood, 165. And homeowners in that neighborhood, their equity increased from 2011 to 2014. Their equity increased 100 and, excuse me, a 42.7 million dollars. The equity increased $42.7 million. So those 165 homeowners are now worth $42.7 million more than they were in 2011. Wow. Elementary school is Herds Ferry. Middle school is Riverview Charter. And high school is Riverwood. Riverwood gets a school chimp score of 76. If you uh, would like to low down on your own neighborhood, our free market snapshot is just what the doctor ordered. It's like getting a monthly bank statement on your home's value emailed right to your inbox every month. 
And getting one is easy. Just sign up now at gogaddis.com. That's G-O-G-A-D-D-I-S.com. Just click on the Home Values and ATL tab. It'll take less than 30 seconds and will ensure you are the local smarty. Your neighbors will most certainly be jealous. Just go to gogaddis.com. That's G-O-G-A-D-D-I-S.com. This is called Cleave Atlanta Real Estate Show on Talk Radio 640 WGST. 